So this is the Blue Maiden edit. As you can see, there are quite a few fundamental problems with the image to start with that I had to work on. So let's start our next edit. As you can see, this one is very dark and has got some harsh shadows and the hair is almost blending in with the trees in the background. So I'm taking my magic W tool and I am selecting myself in the image. I am using CS5 for this edit and you can get the magic W tool by pushing W on your keyboard and then you just click and drag where you want to select. Now I'm going back in with the lasso tool and I am minusing out certain areas and just kind of cleaning up the cuts I did with the magic W wand. And now I have the background selected. So going in with levels and pulling in some more light into this image. Just kind of adjusting the overall contrast and brightness of the image with levels. Now I am going in with curves and I am now working on myself and I just inverted my selection to do that. For those of you newer to Photoshop, you can invert your selection by clicking Control Shift I. So again, adjusting my overall brightness in the image using curves. And I am now using the dodge tool and highlights. And now I am sizing my brush to the size I want for my hair. And I'm going to go in and do some adjustments on my hair to try and pull it out of the background of the image a little more. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of extra contrasting up my hair with the burn and dodge tools by bringing in highlights and maybe darkening a little bit of the shadows. We'll see. Bringing in the mid-tone dodging too pull out a little more detail in the hair. This is a problem I deal with a lot with my hair personally in wood shots is I have just about the same color hair as bark so gotta find ways to make it stand out a little more. And the reason I am doing these hair adjustments beyond trying to make the hair pop a little bit from the background is I'm about to do some color changes on the hair to make it stand out a little more and have a better contrast to start with on the hair makes those color changes look better. Now I'm going in with a healing brush and healing up some skin blemishes. You may have noticed this is the image I have on the background of my YouTube channel. 
Now I'm going to go in and grab my saturation brush and go over the hair a little bit to see if I can't pull a little bit of its natural color out. But I think I'm going to do more than that and I'm going to go in with some actual color brushing. So now I'm in here with selective color and I am trying to mess with the background a little bit make everything overall just seem a little more saturated and bright. So that was with the greens pulling in the shrubbery in the background. Now I'm messing with the grays but I gotta be careful here because I can actually lose some saturation. I can use the whites to make it look a little sunnier. Then bring in, I want to, a little more yellow can help make it feel a little warmer in the image. This is an early morning shot so it was very blue out. Now you're seeing me select this shadowed section down here, that harsh line. This line is very distracting in the image and I really wanted to get rid of it. So I'm going up through and I'm just kind of grabbing it along the fuzzy edge of the line and we'll see what I can do. Now I'm going back through with the lasso and just kind of cleaning up my selection. Now I am going to prepare my dodge tool and select my exposure, get it prepared, and then I'm going to go through and lighten up that gravel. I'm going through and trying to lighten up some of the gravel in that section. And I have to do this really carefully because if I lighten it up too much it's going to look odd next to the other gravel in the image. So there we go. Just did some good brightening by pulling out a bit of the shadows in that image section. So again, going back through with the dodge brush and pulling out some of the mid-tones. And the shadows. Going in with color correction, I want to add a little more yellow because that'll help it blend in with the background a little more since it was so shadowed, a lot of it had blues and cyans in it. So you can see that made a good change in how it's comparing with the rest of the image. I'm 
and selective color, shifting around colors and mid-tones and neutral tones a bit. Now I still want to get rid of the line that's showing up. As It's not as harsh anymore, but I still want to remove that. You can see just messing with levels just okay, helped a good. lot in removing that harsh line of shadow. Now I've got a little bit of debris up there along the edge where it was catching a little bit of the light side already. So I'm just going to go through with the healing brush and clean that up, and maybe the clone brush as well. Just kind of give it a couple tries, see what I get. A little fuzzy right there. Give it another shot. Here we can take a quick look at some of the changes that have been made already. So now I am going in and magic wand trying to select my hair. And as you can see, Now I am taking the dodge tool and I'm going to go in behind my head and dodge out a bit of the background to make my head and background a little more contrasted from each other. Now I am going in with selective color and I am going to adjust my reds, yellows, and greens for the overall tone of the image and the background color saturation. Now I am going to go through and pick a color from the reds to use to color my hair in the image to help it stand out from the background colors a little bit. And now I go down and I select my burn tools and dodge tools and I'm going to go back over the hair to add that contrast back in that was lost with the new tone. Which will make it look more natural. Going in again with selective color and just shifting things around, seeing what I'm liking. This is getting pretty close to the finalized image.
I'm going in with color balance and doing some adjustments on overall image. So I'm just going through in this slight re-edit and I am adding some more contrast to the dress with the dodge and burn tools. And now I am going through and I am adding a bit of vignetting around the edges with the dodge and burn tools. And now I am redoing my color balance a little bit. And here is my finished image. And here is a before and after of it. This is one of the more difficult edits I have done. And there's the secrets to removing long dark shadows and making a subject pop from the background. If you are interested in getting color correction done by me, check my website below for more information.